Welcome to another Fast Tech video. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak a PS Vita. This video was brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is an automatic screwdriver that disassembles all kinds of electronic devices. Check the links in the description box and the top comment. FastTechStore.com carries all PS Vita parts. Check the links in the description box and the pinned comment. And you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Let's get started. In today's video, we're going to be working on a 2000 series PS Vita, or also known as a PS Vita Slim. On a later date, I will be doing a 1000 series as well, which is this one right here. So if you want to catch that, make sure you press that subscribe button. You can check the model number of your PS Vita at the back. This one is a PCH 1000. And if you have a first gen PS Vita, the OLED model, you need a memory card to do a jailbreak. You can still use this guide to do a jailbreak on one of these, but you will need a PS Vita official memory card like this one. But once jailbroken, I recommend an adapter like this one. So you can use any SD card of your choice. And we do sell the adapters at fasttechstore.com for anyone who's interested. Links in the description box and the pinned comment. And once you have this adapter, you can use a 256 or 512 gigabyte SD card. which should be enough to host quite a large number of PS Vita games. But for the PS Vita 2000 series, there's no memory card required. And the process is very, very straightforward. So to start, we're gonna open the browser and then we're gonna go to start. We're gonna enter in the address bar, deploy.psp2.dev. And then we're gonna press the enter button and it's gonna give you this warning. Do you want to continue? We're gonna press yes. And you're gonna be prompted with this screen. This firmware is not supported. So we're on an older firmware. You might be on an older firmware as well. So what we're gonna do first, before we can do this step, is we have to update the system software. And I was already getting a prompt to update the system software so we're going to do that right now the following update has been downloaded do you want to update the system software with this update file 3.74 we're going to press yes the system will close all applications blah 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 we're going to press yes again scroll down accept now i know what a lot of you are thinking why would you upgrade to a newer system software if you're trying to jailbreak I understand that sentiment, but this is how it needs to be done. Have I ever been wrong before? It's installing the system software update. Now it's going to restart. We're going to let it do its thing. We're going to open the browser again, go to start. We're going to go back to the same address, jailbreak.psp2.dev, which is the redirect. But the actual link that you're going to use is deploy.psp2.dev. I'll include this address in the description box, just in case. And we're gonna press enter, and we're gonna be prompted with this screen. It's gonna say, welcome to Henio. Unlock your Vita and run unofficial games and applications, supported firmwares, blah, blah, blah. And we're gonna press this button that says, unlock my Vita. You're about to launch, blah, blah, blah. And now when at this screen, we're gonna press unlock. We're gonna see this screen. There's gonna be a couple of options here. The first one is exit, which we're gonna ignore. The second option is install Henkaku. We're gonna press X. It's gonna install Henkaku. 
When that's done, we'll be back to this screen. Then we're gonna go down to the third option, which is install Vita Deploy. It says all done. Then we're gonna go up to the first option, exit, and press X. It's gonna exit. And now on the main screen, you'll see Vita Deploy, which was not there before. And in settings, you're going to see Henkaku settings. We're gonna select that. We're gonna select this option that says enable unsafe homebrew. I love unsafe, dangerous freedom. Then we're gonna go back to the PS menu. We're gonna go down to Vita Deploy. Now we're gonna press start. We're gonna go to install a different OS. And then we're gonna select the first option that says quick 3.65 install. We're gonna select that option. You're gonna see this screen. We're gonna let it do its thing. And after this step is complete, your PS Vita is effectively hacked and the jailbreak is complete. You will be able to run homebrew applications on your PS Vita, load them onto your SD card and run the games directly from there instead of or the official PS Vita game cartridges. You're also going to be able to run homebrew apps as well. So if this video helped you out, make sure to press that like button and subscribe to our channel because we're dropping videos like this all the time. We're also gonna be doing the 1000 PS Vita jailbreak in the future. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna catch that on a later date. Now you're gonna see this screen. It says Maduro 2.1 firmware information. It's telling us our firmware current firmware 3.74, factory firmware 3.09. And it's gonna say, do you want to downgrade from firmware 3.74 to firmware 3.65? And it's going to say press X to confirm, press R to exit. So we're going to press the X button. And it's going to say this software will make permanent modifications to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there's no recovery, not even with a hardware flasher. The creators provide this tool as is without warranty of any kind, express or implied, and cannot be held liable for any damage done. Fair enough. It's a disclaimer. So we're going to press X to continue. It's going to make you wait 20 seconds. So once the 20 second timer finishes, we're gonna press X. And now you're gonna see this screen, which looks like any other PlayStation system update screen. And as I mentioned guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if this video helps you out because that helps us out a lot. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I try to get back to as many people as I can. Now it's gonna restart. We're gonna see the PS logo. And at this point, you have a hacked, jailbroken PSP. So once your PS Vita restarts at this point, you have a fully jailbroken system and you should be able to install emulators, PS Vita games, anything that you want on this PS Vita. And there's tons of homebrew software that you can install. And I'll leave some links in the description box that are gonna be useful resources for what to do once you have a jailbroken PS Vita. And once again, if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and record my adventures. Also, this video was brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is an automatic screwdriver you can use to disassemble not just your PS Vita, but your PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and beyond. Links are gonna be in the description box for this toolkit, and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. So at this point, just to confirm, we're gonna go to our settings, we're gonna go to system and in system information, you'll see that we're running a permanently hacked or jailbroken version of 3.65. And effectively at this point, we have a fully hacked PS Vita. And that's how you jailbreak a PS Vita 2000 series. If you wanna see the 1000 series hack video where I mentioned earlier, the process is slightly different because you do need a PS Vita card. 
I'll be doing that in a separate video. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to install some apps that I find useful. Now we're gonna turn off the PS Vita, give it a restart. Once restarted, we're going to open up Vita Deploy, which is gonna be at the bottom. We're gonna to go to App Downloader. You should install Vita Shell. It's a very good file manager. Vita DB Downloader, where you can download a ton of homebrew. Then we're gonna install Adrenaline if you wanna use PSP emulation on your PS Vita. So this will allow you to run your PSP backups on your PS Vita. We're gonna check that box. We're gonna install Package J or PKGJ. This is gonna let you install package files directly on your system. You can also install uh, Vita Save Manager, which will let you manage your save games, as the name would suggest. You can also install custom themes with a custom themes manager. And there's a bunch of other applications that you could choose to install, but those are the ones that I would recommend. And then we're gonna press X on download selected apps. So now it's gonna show you this screen. It's gonna do its thing. Now it's gonna say all apps have been successfully installed. You can now exit this app. So we're gonna exit this app, close it, and on our menu, we're gonna see all these apps installed. And so now, effectively, you can install Homebrew, your backups, you can do a bunch of things on your PS Vita that you would not be able to do before. And you'd be able to play games on this thing because that's one thing the PS Vita was lacking when released were games. So now you'd be able to run anything from Nintendo to old PSP games, anything that you want on this thing. Thanks for watching another Fast Tech video. Before you leave, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out and I'll see you in the next one. <music>